Dr. Santos, a good number of youth these days are particularly sleep deprived, right? And nighttime also seems to be their time to experience the time affluence that you mentioned where they spend their free time with things they actually enjoy. So how might we work to help our young people prioritize sleep when life-giving things like extracurriculars or sports or just spending time with friends get in the way? Yeah, I think this is really tricky, right? You know, we would, I wish we could just make more hours in the day, you know, for our students that we work with, but for all of us, right? Yeah. Um, the key though, I think one way you can help is to kind of explain to students how bad sleep deprivation really is, right? How much it interferes with the kinds of things they really wanna be focused on, right? You know, so take grades, you know, I'd like to believe that all of my students are, you know, staying up because they're, you know, having fun and playing with others and socially connecting, but like a lot of them are doing homework, right? A lot of them are studying. You know, what does the data say about grades and sleep? Well, the evidence suggests that if they put a little bit less time into the studying and a little bit more time into sleep, the effect on their grades might be more positive than they think, right? You know, the sleep deprivation is negatively affecting your memory. Sleep deprivation is negatively affecting your cognitive performance and your creativity. Like all the things you need to like, you know, do well on tests, you're losing that as you don't sleep. So what you're kind of making up for in the studying might not be helping you as much as you if, as it would if you just like use that time to sleep. So that's kind of power, part of it for the kind of grades, you know, academic work side. But the same is true of many of the extracurriculars. You know, many students are, you know, getting up super early because they want to exercise to be amazing at their sport. And like the same thing is true, right? You know, your physical bodies just need rest. The data suggests that you're hurting your physical performance by not sleeping. You know, so much so that I'm watching, you know, faculty and, and coaches at Yale kind of change around the timing of different practices and things like that. Like they're getting the memo that sleep might be more important, right? You know, and I, I'd like to think that they care about their students' well-being, but I also think they care about the bottom line. You know, these coaches care about winning games and they're realizing that you do that better if you just sleep more. And so I think that's part of it, right? I think it's like, if you hear the evidence of like, wait, this is counterproductive, right? I need to find ways to have that social connection, to have that fun time, but I need to not be doing that at the expense of sleep. Maybe I need to be doing that at the expense of some of my schoolwork, you know, if you're really intense at school, you know, maybe I need to be finding time affluence in other ways, really looking at um, how I'm spending what researchers call time confetti, these little pieces of time that are floating around, how can you use those better? Um, those might be all techniques you can talk about with the students you're working with um, to give them some better strategies. Thank you.